Okay, we're gonna go in and clip a tail today. We've got our clippers, our scissors to trim up, razor, you'll see what gets done with that, brush just for the clippers, and we've got uh, gel for the afterwards, so to show you just how you get it ready to go into the ring, along with the bandage, that's what that is for. We're going to be using 15 blades to start with and then 40 to neaten up and finish off for the final look and just a comb there for if we need it. So we've got Arabian riding pony here, Thorwood Alice in Wonderland and we're going to do a tail clip on her. Uh, the owner has clipped, attempted to clip her once before and we've got the opportunity today to come in and do a basically a tail clip on her, same as I don't have any horses that I clip at home. They're all braided. So we're going to start off by just taking off the sides and then we'll play with the length. Once I've got the bulk of the clip done, which I'm going to be using 15 size blades for, we'll then go in with scissors, razor, a finer clipper blade to go neatening it all up. It's just a matter of getting the hair off and having a look at the shape of tail that you've got. You can always take more off, so go easy on it. Step back, look at your length and make sure you're happy with it before you take it all off and can't put it back on. Pull the tail out to the side, get in under and just take that top edge off. Don't go too high up onto the dock just yet. So you're looking in from underneath. Take that first centimetre of underneath off. Rule of thumb to kind of start off with, especially with mares, is down to the end of their, their wee wees basically. Line it up. That's where my first cut goes to and then I can go longer if it looks better on the horse. That's the rule of thumb. Take it down to that length. Once we got that first stroke off, I'm gonna start from the bottom then and go up. Again, just that first inch now. We've done the first centimeter going down. Now we're just gonna take it that first inch up. Okay, so do the other side and then we'll get the scissors in. To get the length on the other side, I'm going off a different visual cue, but if you had a gelding, you would get where you cut on one side and just roll your clipper to the other side so that when you come back here, you can see where I've cut into. So that means that that's my length that I'm going to cut down to just to get it even start at the top again first centimeter and then go from the bottom and do your first inch Now you've done that first cut, we're going to get the scissors and take off this fluffy edge so we can actually see what we've got. Nice long pair of scissors, nice and sharp. I'm going to pull the tail out to the side, maybe come around the other side now. Pull the tail out and kink it, and it's all these fluffy long hairs that I'm going to go in and take off. But don't just go in straight, because you've got the tail on a curve, you're going to take way too much into the top of the dock. Get on the curve with it and cut kind of sloping out so that you don't take too much off and you can see what it is you're taking. So with that you can see it angles out but now I can see where to start my new line for my next cut up. You just don't want to take too much off the top of the dock because you can't replace the hair.
pony. Let it sit straight. Now I'm just going to grab the hair, the front of the hair here, and pull it out to the side. And you can see how much more has now come over. So then I can take the tail out to the side again. Move, pony. And cut all that long hair off. Drop it. Pull all the hair out to the side. Then you can go in and cut that off. I'm going to leave that side there for the minute and we'll do this other side now. This is where you've got to get your hands in order. Being right handed. I'm still going to use the scissors in my right hand. So it's just about positioning yourself to get the angles. Again, you want it, the tip of your scissors pointing off the dock, not into the dock. We can always take more off, we can't replace the hair. Drop it. Everyone likes random music playing. Pull the hair out with your hand and then go back in and cut that off. Drop it again. Pull that hair out. And we're going to cut it off. It is time consuming, it can be quite tedious, but this is a first cut and once you've got your first cut then it's just a matter of you know upkeeping it and it'll only take you 10 minutes. Okay, so all this hair on the side here that's been cut we can then go in with the clippers now and take that off so that we just left with the top of the hair on the dock and the sides are nice and shaven. Okay, so we're going to cut all this hair that's on the side of the dock. I'm just going to take it off. You notice too that I've actually cut down here on an angle. I don't do a straight blunt cut. I find the straight blunt cut draws too much of the uh, attention with your eye. What a nice angled cut. Just sloping up. Now looking at that, the eye of the Sorry, your eye isn't drawn low enough down to the tail. So when you pull it up, where are you going? You can see that the, <laughs> the tail clip doesn't end on the curve. It still ends on the straight. So we're going to take a little bit more off so that when she holds her tail out, the tail clip doesn't stop on the straight of the tail. You want it to face down to draw your eye down the length of the tail. So this pony I'm going to take a little bit more off. Hold it up, that's better. So now it points down. Instead of pointing out like that, it curves down. I took maybe another inch off. Do this other side now. Yeah. Got a fly, honey bun. Again, kink your tail out to the side.
The pony's name is also Alice. She's not referring to me in that voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to bend the tail out and just get all those little bits that are sticking out to make a nice straight line. Yay. Now you can see once I've done that, you can see this thick bit here and compared to up here where it's clipped and then you've got your top straight nice and even. But down here, you've still got that hair there that has just been cut by the scissors and that tells me that a little bit more needs to come off that edge there to make it nice and straight like it is up here. So once I get the other side trimmed off with the scissors we'll come back with the clippers and just get that line. I'll swap back over to the other side. You can see this side. That overhanging hair, that's what I'm trimming off. Again, angle your tip of your scissors off the dock so you don't cut into the dock too much. Now you can see this side, really nice line, basically all the way down. You just got to neaten up this angle, but it doesn't need really any more off the side there. Maybe just a little bit through here. That's nice and straight. Neaten up this angle here, so let's just take that little bit off there, get away from the dock to start with. And look from the front and make sure that you've got it even. Run the clippers down. Please be careful when doing this so you don't tilt in or that the horse doesn't shake on you. And see these fuzzy bits? I just want to get that off. Good girl. That's looking a lot better. I'm going to take a little bit more off this. There we go. So as far as the clippers go, to myself that's them basically done. It's just getting the scissors now and the razor. And I'll show you how we just neaten up these edges so there's no harsh lines. Now for me, this is where the difference is between having an average tail clip and a really nice one. And this is what I would do too on the day of. 
So I've clipped my tail the night before, horse is all trimmed up. I'm at the show or I'm about to leave for the show and I'm doing it at home. You see where I've lengthened the tail clip, we still got these really long hairs on top. I'm literally just going to section that very edge bit of hair and give it a trim so it doesn't fall over half of the tail clip. Section the very edge, deep breath, and cut that so it's not overshadowing on the clip. Now I like having these longer hairs down this bottom bit. I find that it really blends into the rest of the tail so that you don't have short, 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 bang, and then long hairs. So these longer bits here are really nice just to have there so that when also to the car in the tail, see all that's gonna get razored off, so you'll see that in a second, that it just flows down with the tail and you don't have, like we do up here, these short bits just sticking out. I'm gonna get the razor. A slightly blunt razor is best. This is a new razor, so be very careful if it's a new one. Now we're not gonna dig in onto the top. All we wanna do is just round that edge back so it's not as sharp. I'm gonna get mum to swap around to the right side. I am right-handed. Gonna do this to the right first. Again, grab the tail and just pull it out. And just want those edges. Just raise it down so that they're not sticking out. Just really lightly. Just razoring down that line. All the way down. So that when it sits, it just kind of blends into the clip. Now by doing that, you can see that this hair in here is just a little bit thick. So that is when. You can see how long that actually is on this filly. We can grab a few little bits in that point. It's on the point of the curve. Up here is fine, down there is fine. It's that point of the curve there that's just a little bit thick and sticking out. Gonna pull a little bit of it out. Much like you do with the mane, just without the comb, grab little sections and pull. And little sections like that, horses don't normally mind. Just to thin it out a little. Yeah. Now if you're really not keen on having a pull, the other thing you can do is lift it up and just very gently take a, cut a few hairs just to thin it out a little. Make sure you pick it up, don't just do it on top, section the hair up and get those ones right at the base there so that you don't have all these sharp little bits of hair sticking up on the top of your tail. Okay. Now we thin that out a little bit. Just go back down that line. Good. I'm really quite happy with that side. So I'm going to go to the other side now. And you can see from where we thinned it, we now have all these new hairs sticking out because they've sat in and they've become longer out the side because there's not as much hair sitting down underneath. Pull them back out. Now the razor, 
again, you don't want to go on top, you just want to go on the edge and just thin out that line. I'm only using that side, I don't have it all on. Blend out again, don't go cutting these little bits off down here, keep them long so that they can blend into the tail. Once you got it, stick your hand up here and hold it up a little bit so that you can make sure your length. So you can see here, when she holds it up a little bit, the tail comes down and arches down. You've got a nice arch for the tail to fall. You don't want your tail clip too short so that when it holds the tail up, it still sticks out and then you've got this bit of tail dropping. You want it to fall down to give you that nice eye line when the horse is going. All right, before we wrap it up, like we would at a show. It's gonna go in. Now we've taken this hair at the top here, we can see where we can take some of that triangle off to make that smaller. So we're gonna do that. Got my 15s on. Now I can do this on this horse because she was only clipped a day or two ago. So I'm not going to ruin her body clip. If your horse is, hasn't been clipped or has been a little while since it's been clipped, don't go back in and try and redo this on it. You'll end up making big clipper marks where your horse you have different length of hair basically. take too much more off then we're going to be cutting into her actual tail. So that just neatens that up a little bit more, shortens it down so she doesn't look like her tail is so far up onto a rump. Now for on the day, much like a tail braid, you want to put a bandage on it so it sits nice and neat. Got our gel. Right into it. And then bandage. I get these elastoplast type vet wrap bandages. Do the same with the tail braids. And go up. If you haven't put the false tail in yet, don't go too far down, leave the bottom of the dock free. Doesn't need to be too bulky. Yeah, cut that off and leave it till you're about to go in the ring. Got your dock there and get the hair from at the base of it. So wiggle your finger around the base of the dock and get a, see, a reasonable sized trunk going. You don't want the poor horse sitting there with a little bit of hair holding a false tail in. Now there's heaps of different ways to go doing this. I braid mine in, I don't use a latch hook. 
I can tell pretty much by looking at it. No, yeah, we're going to need a pretty big plaque. Section it up. Okay, so I've got two inches down. I'm going to go a little bit more. Okay. Decided that for the moment I'm happy with where that's at. I'm going to throw it in and we'll see how it looks so I've stuck the loop onto my right hand plait section of hair and I've just done one plait so I'll do it again loop the loop onto your right hand section of hair and do a normal two plaits Right, and then now it's always the right hand. I'm right handed, so it's always my right hand strand. Loop under, pull tight. Okay, so it's over the top of that loop. Loop under and on top. So now you're starting to hide your false tail into the plait. And we do this on the right hand strand only for a couple of inches down. Reach under, grab it, pull it on top. Grab underneath, on top. Underneath, across on top. Okay, it's about two inches down now, so I'm going to plait it off. Sorry, I keep thinking you're calling me. <laughs> no. Okay, so I've got about three bands in this of my little clear rubber bands from Roma. Inch down. Span it off there. Careful not to let your plait go loose because your false tail will come loose. Another set of three. And right at the base of that plait. Just to stop it, the braid from coming loose. Another set. <laughs> Get the knots out of the end of your braid there. Sit that down flat. Stick your bands up over the top. Right up there and it sits just there at the top. That's just to help that little bit of braid to sit flat. If they snap it's not a big deal. It just gets it to train to sit flat and then 10 minutes later it's already kind of sitting there. So that's how I get them in. It's a braid over the top, three lots of bands and then we're going to pick this hair up and cover it. Make sure it's spread all the way around. Get your brush. Now when you're brushing with the false tailing, you don't want to brush down and pull out. You want to brush in. So you pick it up and brush in. You ultimately want to try and get the horse's tail to blend in with the false tail. So down and in and into that 
just the base of the tail. You don't want to grab those bands on your way through. So you push in. Push in at the bottom there. When you cut, do it in layers. Don't try to get the whole tail. Make sure she's nice and straight. Come and get a shot from behind me. 